to do a little explanation of all the features of this cricket cart that we build here at Patty's Pony Place. I'm going to start here right up here with these aluminum shafts. These shaft tips are made out of solid aluminum bar stock. They're like a crowbar. They're almost indestructible. I bend them with a 12 ton press. See? Uh, we use a D-ring, stainless steel D for our holdback attachments. These shaft loops are adjustable using this bolt right here. You can loosen that bolt and then the shafts will roll in or out to be narrower or wider and they'll slide in or out for different lengths of ponies. Carrying on back, I have adjustable shaft braces here with a turnbuckle in them. To adjust these you need to unhook the ends of the, of the braces and then turn both turnbuckles the same and that raises or lowers the shafts to adjust for different heights of pony. You want them to be right where your shaft loops are on your harness with the four pan of the cart more or less level, maybe a little bit uphill, but more or less level. The single tree that I have in here has bearing in here, so it turns on a bearing. It's not just a bolt in a hole. Uh, the shafts are detachable. You can pull the bolts here and take the whole shaft base off if you need to for transport. I have a foot brace in this cart so that it accommodates shorter leg lengths and allows the seat to be back where it needs to be if, if, if needed for balance and you can still rest your feet on here and be comfortable. I'm going to show you the spares compartment in this cart. It has little barrel bolt latches and you can open it up Put your spares kit, your lunch, your uh, spare blanket, halter, whatever you want in there. And then close it up. And there you go. Spares compartment. The seat on this cart slides ahead and back. That's what you use to balance the weight of the cart. Now, I'll just reach in here as my pointer. There's a bolt in here, one on either side. It's a set bolt. You loosen that bolt off, and then the seat will slide ahead and back. This cart also has a carriage lamp holder on it. It has set bolts that clamp the, the lamps in place. And this is also a quick detach. It has a wing nut on each side. You can loosen these wing nuts off and then lift the whole carriage lamp bracket right off. Now this particular cart has an extendable axle. The lady who owns this cart needs her cart width quite narrow to fit between steel posts filled with concrete that are posts for blocking vehicles for going down trails. If her cart is 38 inches wide, she can fit between them. The cart should ideally be wider for doing CDEs. So you take and Pull these pins like this. I just lift the cart. I need to get to the side so I can pull the wheel. And I just pull the wheel out, line my hole back up here. There it is. There we go. There we go. Then I, after sliding my axle out, I put my pins back in place, like so. And there we have the wider wheel width. Now I'm gonna just outline br briefly how my suspension on this cart works. What I have is I have what's called a quarter elliptical spring suspension. As you can see I have half of a full elliptical leaf spring here. This is for set for a particular length, bottom leaf and top leaf, to carry the weight requirements that are going to be in this cart. Now I'm going to step in the cart, hopefully it'll stay there. And you can see how it goes up and down. As the cart goes over rough terrain, the wheel will go up 
and back. So it uses both motions of the wheel coming up and back to absorb the energy of hitting these bumps and it results in a very smooth ride. All our customers with the Cricut carts have been very happy with how they ride. So, to sum it all up, this is indeed a Cricut for a 34 inch pony. You can go up or down a few inches one way or the other. This card as is with the full with the optional 26 inch wheels, they're a little heavier than 24s. It adds a few pounds for the spares carrier, a pound for this. This cart still comes in at around 100 pounds. We're pretty pleased with that. I can get this cart down to under 80 pounds by putting 24 inch wheels, knocking off the wheel guards, uh, make the cart a single wide seat and just downsize it a little bit for the smaller ponies. So if you've got a 30 to 34 inch pony, I can build this cart to weigh 80 pounds or less. That's about it.